We'll start with a Mustard S71 size 2. This is the Vaskebjörn or Raccoon translated from Norwegian. I've got Dyneema 55. My favourite saltwater and deer hair tying thread. So we'll just attach our thread at the back here. And we want to go back about halfway in between the hook and the barb, the hook point and the barb. So what we want now is it's best to use a large uh, grizzle hackle. That one's better uh, because then you only need one hackle but you can use several if you wish. So what we want to do is we'll tie this one in. So left to right, right to left, right to left, lock it off behind, lock it off in front, and then we can bend this up, trim it off about there, back just want to secure this properly there we go and then what we can do is we can wind this hackle that'll do us there and I can return tie that off Like so, and we can remove that. And what we want is we want to pull all these fibers back and just go over the ends. That'll do us nicely. That's good. And we go forward to just about the hook point, turn everything upside down and we'll tie in some bead eyes. Now you can use whatever colour bead eyes, uh, bead chain eyes you wish. The original I believe is black. Get that hack out the way. But I've not really found that it makes that much difference. So we do these in a figure of eight. We want these to stay absolutely solid. We don't want any movement in these eyes. That's good. And just turn that upside down. And just to secure it, give it a drop of super glue. Then we'll go over it again. And we'll go back here. Like so. Spin our Dyneema anti-clockwise. So we get a flat profile. And that will do me. It's best to split your thread if you're tying with seals fur. This is dyed red. Spin that up. So we don't want to, not necessary to spin it too much because we then can dub it on. Get those fibers out of the way. Like 
up and we'll come in here that's good now seal sphere has a very special quality that translucent quality I'll just add a tiny bit more just to pull myself between the eyes like so that one out the way then I just go forward a wee ways again I take the remainder of the hackle we had and again we'll go over and move a little bit closer to the eyes left to right right to left back off and go forward and put this one in again Turn our time thread and tie that off, remove that, keep that for the next cycle. Pull all these back now. I want them over and under the eyes. good then again I'll just spin our tying thread split it now we want some natural seals fur do is that Spin it up again. Make sure you keep a little ways from the hackle, otherwise you'll spin the hackle in with it. There we go. I can go back. Like so. I can give these a brush and go back to our hackle again Plier on this one, like so. And the thing about using a single hackle is that you will get a taper on the hackle length, natural taper. off again draw everything back and go over this is a extremely successful sea trike pattern <laughs> used all over Scandinavia let me need little bit more natural 
seal spurt. I'm definitely going to have to sharpen that dubbing needle a little bit more in here. Just to dub forward, I think that will do us. And spin that up again. And the advantage of spinning it in a dubbing loop as well, again, is that it stays very scruffy, and that's very important with seals fur to get the full effect of it. And we go forward. Go back a wee ways. Take the last of the hackle. Like so I can trim that off. Put the hackle plier on that again. This pattern is generally fished deep and fast. Uh, there is something about it that makes it work extremely well. Uh, it's probably the number one sea track fly for many sea track fishermen. We just pull the hackles back like this at the front. Built up a small head. Just go back a wee ways to push those hackles back, like so. Take a whip finisher. Remove that give it a good brush in want that seals fur to shine and then we just put a cut a super glue over the head and remove any glue from the hook eye and that's the finished Vasco Burn. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.